gave a short talk on, on magic. This is an introduction to me rather than magic. My name is Moray Jones. I'm on GitHub as Moray J, which isn't very imaginative, but uh, it separates me from all the other Morays, so you know who I am. <laughs> um, I tend to use Emacs. I like org mode. Um, <laughs> so that kind of ties me a lot to it. It's very useful for that. Um, and I've used Git for years in my own repositories generally, so I tend to just default to the, uh, to the command line and just not do anything terribly complicated. Um, but um, at, I was at, uh, at Glasgow and uh, there seemed to be a lot of, there was quite a lot of talk of the ubiquitous Git and there seemed to be an awful lot of VI users around. Um, so we do have a few Emacs users here, do we? Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, I enjoy talks that involve the ecosystem as well as the uh, as well as the um, actual <laughs> Perl. Um, so this is uh, Magit, which is an Emacs porcelain, as it calls itself, for Git. Uh, I haven't brought my glasses, so I'll have to read that <laughs> off off the screen, which you can as well. But this is their their introduction on their um, on their website. Magit is an interface to the version control system Git implemented as an Emacs package. Magic aspires to be a complete Git portalain. Perform almost so users can perform almost all of their daily version control tasks directly from within Emacs. While many fine Git clients exist, only Magic and Git itself deserve to be called porcelains. So this seems like a bold claim and I don't know what other people are using and uh, and, and how it compares. So this is going to be a kind of a demonstration of my my usage of uh, magic for doing some, some Git, Git stuff. So it's going to be a demonstration in slides because I wouldn't be quite stupid enough to <laughs> try typing stuff with 30 people looking over my shoulder. Um, so it's not claiming to be comprehensive, but it's claiming to be pretty good, I think is the message from that. It also claims that some people use Emacs very much like I started using Emacs mainly for org mode, that some people are using Emacs specifically for magic. So, um, you can, if you're using Emacs, uh, there's a, they have a, a, a repository of packages, very much like CPAN, Elpa or Melpa, and you can just install packages off there, which is fairly, usually fairly seamless. Um, and then there's all these sort of extras that people write very much like. In CPAN, somebody will write something and lots of people will add extras for us. So there's plenty going on with it. Um, there's sort of like a special GitHub one there and a Git flow service and things like that. Um, so my jumping off point is uh, using this down here in Emacs is the, the for running commands. Up here I'm editing, down here I'm running my commands. Um, magic status MX, which is the Emacs way of saying that you like to run commands, so that's the Alt key and X and then magic status. Um, you can bind that to keys, because Emacs is all about binding to keys, so if you put that on a key, you wouldn't have to type magic status every time. And what I'll be doing in this talk is all the menus that I call up will, previous to that, this will be magic status will be run in order to get to a place where I can call up those menus. But I won't do that every time because that really will get tired. Okay, so I started my file. This is the file that I'm editing. Um, because I called up magic status, it's, uh, it's asking me which Git repository I want, and it's defaulting to the directory that I'm in. Okay? Um, and then it just asks confirmation. Because this isn't a Git, uh, there isn't a Git repository in here, it's just asking me if I'd like to create one, which is quite polite. Um, I think the other thing to highlight is that this, this is a, a wrapper for Git, so this is entirely interchangeable. So anything you do in Magit is just working on Git repository. So you can, you can drop out of using Emacs, start using Git on the command line, using anything else. It's just wrappers for actually using, using Git. Okay. So just to say, this folder here, there's two files in here. This is this file I'm editing is just called magic.fountain. That's my, my name for it. I probably shouldn't have called it magic because it confuses it with the actual program. Um, but this is just my username edited file. Um, and you'll, 
you may see, because I know you're all quite far away, I forgot my glasses, so it's quite small for me as well. Um, there's this, another file here with a tilde after it, which has the same name. That's just Emacs's uh, backup file. So that's the Emacs thing. Whenever, whenever you're editing a file, it creates a backup that has a tilde. Um, what I've done here is I just basically put my cursor on the file that I would like to add to the repository and clicked S. And that stages the file. And you'll see here that I now have untracked files and I've got stage changes. So it's a sort of menu, it's a menu driven system. So my stage change is my new file that I wanted to add to this repository. Um, and then, um, so again, running magic status. I then press C and that takes me to the commit menu. And again, it's probably too small for you to see very much. But if I press C again, I'll go straight into commit. Um, had I come in here without staging any changes, it would just say, do you want to stage everything? But there is also the usual flags or switches for using Git. So I could at this stage change my mind and do minus A, and I would, I would be uh, committing all the files. And then there's various things that, to be honest, I've never used before, but again, you have a look, but one of the things is this does kind of make very much available an awful lot of uh, Git stuff that frankly might be a while before I actually use, but it is all in there. Um, and it's also quite interesting because it can also show you stuff that you might want to look up and, and use at another time. I mean, there's, there's other stuff that I would use. There's amend in here, for instance, so I could just amend my last commit with, without too much trouble. Um, so this is it. Just a simple, just a normal commit message. Um, so once I'm done, I press Q, that buffer will disappear, and I carry on with my work. So I've committed my file. I've, so basically I've created, through, through the menus, I've just created a Git repository and committed a file. So I'm underway. Um, so I've gone back to calling magic status again, and I want to branch now for the sake of demonstration. It's probably a bit early to branch at that stage, but I have done. Um, so I just have choices down here again. There's B for checkout, C for checkout new branch, and various other things. Again, mo most of what you would want to do appears to be here. Um, more than what I would want to do appears to be here, but you'll sort of recognize the things that you want. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, check out a new branch, because there was no branch. Um, it just defaults. It asks, do I want to do it off default master? Well, that makes a lot of sense because I ran this menu whilst in the branch master. It's the only branch I've got, so that would be a good one. And again, um, well, what we've got down here, just ask me for the name of the new branch. Okay, quite simple, really. <laughs> uh, so I've typed that in. If I change to a branch, that, uh, that already had stuff in it, this would all revert to, to whatever the new branch is, you know, which was, would make good sense. Right, merging, so I've done my new branch, I have in the background gone and added something to that file. Um, merging, again, magic status, M to get the merge pop-up. I should probably mention as well that all of this stuff can be key bound if you wanted, for instance, to get to this menu with keystrokes that didn't involve going through the menu system and you had a particular favourite you did all the time, you can do that. Um, I'm just going to, uh, for no real reason, I just previewed it, I've added, added a line um, and then I hit merge and it's done. Okay. So we've got that annoying little magic fountain file, which is the backup of my file that I'm editing up here, which now has its two lines in. So just with, as in Git regularly, you know, you have your Git ignore. I just, instead of staging this, I can just put my cursor on it and I'll select it with I, and that will, um, that will create the Git ignore and add that <coughs> file, if, if the Git ignore's not there, it will create it but otherwise it will create it and add the file. Um, 
I've, uh, I've not done the slides on that, but I commit that anyway. Um, so, so this is perhaps one of the lesser, this is a capital M instead of a lowercase n, lowercase n was merge. This is adding the remote. Um, so I've gone to GitHub and I've created an empty directory just for this demonstration so that I have something to, to commit it to. Um, and then I'm going to hit A for add. Uh, again, it just prompts me for what I want to call it. This is just whatever I want to call it locally. So I've called it git demo. And then again, it prompts me again. So this is all very nice. It's all very menu driven. Um, and I just add in the URL for, my, for, for, for the git repository that I want to use. Uh, ask for confirmation again, do you really want to do this? Well, I don't know if you can turn it off from being too, too hand-holding, but maybe it's nice. Okay, so there's nothing in the remote, so it's telling me that the master is missing, but it has, it has created it. Again, another menu, this is the 